Good day everyone. Welcome to the review for the Clean Canteen Reflect 800 milliliter water bottle. This is a fantastic product that I would highly recommend. I would just straight away give it a 10 stars out of 10. This is a great alternative to plastic bottle. With ordinary water carrying bottles that were made out of plastics, I would sometimes get a plasticky taste. And so I, I, I started looking on the internet to see if I could find something that was a non-plastic alternative because of that and over you know hours and hours of searching I did find some other brands but out of all of them I would highly recommend the clean canteen it's just I mean the for several reasons I'll go through number one the uh, the stainless steel used is 18 by 8 which I believe is a medical grade stainless steel it's certainly fruit safe it's very high quality you can you can see by looking at it that this is a very high quality steel this is a used product I have misused it as well I have dropped it several times as you can see I've dropped it uh, all over the place there's dents near the top at the bottom I've actually dropped it on the lid itself I've got a little a little chip there I've actually dropped it on this loop and the loop popped out and I had to put it back in you can see the scratches there where I've had to force the loop back in yeah, so that's that's down to me. That's that, that's nothing to do with the actual product itself. But otherwise, had this been a plastic bottle, it probably would have cracked by now, taking the punishment I've given it. So I can definitely attest to the taste of the water. Bear in mind, this is a hundred percent non-plastic. Even the the seal in the lid is a silicone. Okay, so there is literally no plastic in contact with your water at, at all. The taste of the water is really fantastic. I cannot say that enough you can definitely taste a, a very cleanness to it you know it's a very like uh, pure very pure taste it doesn't feel doesn't taste tainted or like heavy kind of like when you get out of plastic it's it's a joy to drink out of honestly it's definitely a very good non-plastic alternative and like i said the silicone seal in this is fantastic it, i have had zero leakage with this product it also has the wooden bamboo top, which is a nice little touch, I think. I had thought of maybe putting some paint on it or something. I could do different colors on the top, just my own colors or something. You know, that's a, that's an option. There are a few other accessories you can get for this bottle on their website. You can get a, a sports cap rather than this one. Uh, you can get a sling. There are a few other things that I would have liked to see on their website. But, you know, that's just personal preference. That's got nothing to do with this product. This, I would still give this product 10 out of 10. It has not let me down. Now, for all camping enthusiasts out there another good thing about these uh, non-plastic water carrying vessels is that uh, you can use them for collecting water so that's unsafe to drink and put it directly into you know collect up to probably out probably collect up to about there and you can chuck this straight on the fire and boil the water in here in an emergency type situation obviously you want to make sure you take the lid off you know to stop any b pressure build up and also to not melt the, the, the silicone seal, you put, that probably would, would not do well in uh, high temperatures. But if you just take the lid off, you can just bang that straight into a, onto a fire and you can boil your water. You know, one of the things that if you were, say, to collect water in a bottle, such as this one, and tip it out into a, a pot or something to boil with, when it comes time to pour it back into the vessel for carrying purposes or etc., the problem with that is that there would still be remnants of the dirty water sort of stuck to the sides of the insides of the wall and stuff so you probably have to rinse it out first with the with the water you boiled and you may waste a bit of water probably not such a big deal but it's just not it's just a nice option to have the ability to just collect the water straight in here and just bang that straight on the fire and you can boil the water just like that that's just that's just an extra bit of bonus um, yeah so really i would really highly recommend this bottle it's it, it, you know you may say oh well it's only 800 milliliters i actually bought two of them for that purpose this one's taken a lot more damage as you can see i've dropped it on concrete and on gravel and i've actually chipped away some of the sort of coating i think that's just the natural property of stainless steel is that it uh, it has an outer coating like that. Yeah, this one's taken a lot more hits. The top seams are uh, not as bad as the other one. It still works. I've had both of these products for about eight or nine months of pretty much everyday use. You know, I've dropped them loads of times. They've fallen out of my backpack from quite a height. When I think I was I was running or something and it kind of just like just flipped out or something. I didn't put it in the backpack strong enough. I kind of put it in one of the side pouches. 
but never mind so yeah it's got some pretty pretty big dents but again that that attests to the, this product this product's quality i mean it hasn't actually cracked and it's still 100 percent usable so again very rugged very good quality bottle now as you can see, yes, the, the reason why it dents like this is because the metal is very thin, which is good because it's it's extremely light. It feels just as light, if not lighter, than a plastic bottle of the same size. It, there, there's, there's nothing bad about that, the, the construction. And it is, you know, strong enough to take impacts. A very good bottle, very good. I would highly recommend this particular model. If you were to get it, I would recommend the smooth finish. And there was one with a sort of like a matte finish or something. Well, the reason I got this, this this shinier sort of look is because you're less likely to have, you know, if it was a matte finish, you would have little microscopic uh, grooves going through the product. And over time, that could collect water or something and potentially uh, make the product not last as long. So if you, if you really wanted to get the perfect one, in my opinion, you would go for the smoother finish. Uh, but it really is up to you. You can also get coated with paint, paint coated finishes as well. So that's, you know, that's another option. I think that's all right as well. But yeah, just have a look at their website. It's Clean Canteen. So you can just basically just type that in on Google. They do have two websites. They have one for the uh, United Kingdom and they have one for uh, America, for the USA. So I think it's cleancanteen.co.uk for the UK and cleancanteen.com, I believe, for American website. I'll show you the silicone seal. As you can see, it's a, it screws in, and that is the seal right there. That's the silicone seal. So again, this is a hundred percent non-plastic. That is actual. That's the actual silicone seal there. So there is literally no plastic that will ever come in contact with the water. And if you'd like, I could see if I can show you what the inside looks like. You can see I got some water in there. It's a be beautiful product. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. All right. So, as I said, I did get two. One of the reasons for that was, you know, obviously I wanted to carry more than 800. Uh, and rather than get a two liter uh, bottle, the reason I got the, these ones instead was because the two liter variant had a, a growler top lid. And I just, I just didn't look, like the look of it. I just thought it had too many moving parts in it and stuff. I mean, it's personal preference again, but they do have bigger options. Uh, one other thing I was thinking of was because if, if I have two smaller bottles rather than one large one, say if I lost one or if I say if I had a backpack very tightly packed and I didn't have much space, I think it would be easier to negotiate the space with two smaller ones than one big one. So that I thought was uh, okay. So I, I'm perfectly fine with carrying two of these. But again, personal preference, they do have larger sizes and they do have smaller sizes as well. They also have these straws. This is, uh, I believe this is the same grade stainless steel, certainly a food grade stainless steel. So this is the actual straw bit. And then you basically put a top on, own oh, 100% silicone, very nice soft feel to it. And uh, yeah, that basically there's a groove there on the end of that. And there is basically another groove on the inside of that. You can sort of see it there. And basically that just fits snugly on there so it becomes you know it's pretty tight fitting and uh i'll just put it on for a second just so you can see what it looks like you can kind of feel that groove going in as well and you can see it's basically it's pretty solidly attached you do see a lot of uh, straws online non-plastic straws that only have the, the the metal base and you know the thing with that is if you're drinking something very cold uh, it might not be comfortable so you know it'd be it'll be nicer to have this end on it you can take off or uh, leave on as you wish it comes in about a set of five, five of the five of the metal bases, and you get five different colors. I've only got the two here with me now. I can't be, I can't remember where I put the, the other ones. Yeah, it does come in a set, or I believe you may be able to buy them individually as well. It's got an eight millimeter inside diameter, and I will estimate a ten millimeter outer diameter. So what does this mean? I'm well. I've been thinking about using the straw for tree tapping. I've been thinking about tapping a silver birch. And I know with the tree tapping, uh, anything that goes deep in, in, into the tree, I, I know that trees are quite sensitive to different types of metal. I know certainly you cannot use copper, a copper pipe or tube for any tree tapping purposes because it just literally kills the tree. I, uh, stainless steel is a very clean metal. They, I think it's used in a lot of medical facilities and I don't think I, th I think it's it's perfectly safe to use a, a, a stainless steel type a tube for that purpose. So anyway, the inner diameter is 8mm. 
and I believe the outer, that would make the outer diameter about 10 mil. With a 10 mil drill, you can drill into a, the tree you wish to tap, push this in, and I probably push it on this side and leave the groove on the other side. Push that into the tree, just let it tap into a vessel, a bucket, or anything that you have at hand. So that's just a little thing that I found I thought was great with the with this product. Again, it's as I mentioned earlier how you could use this in a camping situation. You can also use that in a camping situation. I don't believe that the brand intended for that for these uses, but again, it's just lovely to have that option available. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind if you are tapping is that uh, the the container that you're going to be tapping into, you might want to have some type of mesh uh, over it, say like a very fine muslin cloth like this perhaps, because you do not want uh, bugs and such going into your your collection vessel. So that's pretty much it. 10 out of 10 stars for Clean Canteen. Absolutely love their products. Absolutely 100% recommend this product. Please, if you are looking for something, please consider this brand. This is a brand that I would love to see go far in the future. I, I would love to see them be more successful. They're doing great but in the market. I think they're doing one of the best, if not the best, non-plastic alternative water bottle.